What's going on traders and welcome to my stream in this video we're going to discuss uh, how I actually traded this today uh, like like I said I did this morning I did a live stream I'm also testing my uh, you know wireless headphones and uh, wireless headphones and microphone thing so this would be you know working pretty well see if everything works out and how it reads Anyway, this morning I made two trades this morning. One of them gave really nice potential in the morning and another one gave really nice potential in the morning. Uh, actually, both of them gave 20% potential. I actually managed to be flat on one and made a huge amount of gains on the other one. But uh, overall, has it been green? I'm going to talk about the two tickers and the ticker I was talking in the morning and uh, how everything worked out after my nice uh, intro. So a pretty pretty simple day R S L S R G L S. Uh, you can see so here R G L S traded this one in the morning. I woke up in the morning and I tried to trade this one pre market. Um, actually, it gave really nice buy opportunity on this trend line for a bit. Actually, um, you know the actual point that I went long was a little too high, around 260 I think. Uh, right about there a little bit too high if I have to say and uh, it actually just dipped and we start ripping all the way up to three dollars where I sold so you know I got in a little bit too early I would have to say uh, RGLS was today's big mover you can see 16 million float uh, 169 million in volume so this was you know very very you can see so here very high institutionally owned uh 34 percent institution there were some options on the trade uh it was also held by insiders about 10 percent or so so it was very uh you know i thought it's gonna do a lot higher once we broke this three dollars but it ended up dipping uh, dipping underneath vwap trapping some shorts and after it trapped some shorts it squeezed it up from two dollars to 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 340 like i said in many of my videos do not short highly institutionally owned stock especially on their first green day especially with news and especially with some cancer something in the headlines i think it was cancer and a kidney disease trial so i didn't really want to short it at all it was a good buy all along so be careful with this one uh after that it actually went uh, actually nowhere after we squeezed the shorts to 390 it also came to that daily resistance on the daily that I have really saw around 339 over here. So we went right over 339 for a bit and then we came down crashing right down. Very volatile security. I did manage to make some money on this one. I think my trades on it were right here. Uh, you can see so that, you know, my, my best entry was around 260 and I sold, uh, I, I, I actually didn't, I sold some at $3 and I sold the rest at 244 So I sold like a third over here, which I should have sold a lot more over here at $3 because I was up from here to here. So I made, I don't know, 20% from here to here. And then pretty much it uh, once, once I saw, you know, I thought it's going to hit 380 at least or 360 or 340 or something like that. So I sold some at three dollars, and then I came. I saw it come back crashing to two sixty, and I was like, "Yeah, I gotta take it off." So it was a good hold on my part to hold it in the pre-market and this and the spike at open, considering it had news, and this was also a pre-market breakout of a two sixty-two. Uh, but uh, I should have sold more into the threes, but you know it hit my target a bit later on after I already sold the shares. And I could have went in for a second try, like maybe VWAP reclaim over here in the middle of the day. I didn't really trade this one, but good thing I avoided it short because it squeezed a bunch of shorts. So remember, guys, if it's a stock that's easy to borrow, you might want to avoid it at all costs. Avoid the ticker short uh, at all costs because, you know, tr and especially if it's 40% institutionally owned stock. Um, the next ticker I traded was Claro. Claro was also in my live stream in the morning. I ended up just, um, I, I saw this one. We, was, we, we were just creeping up. It broke this downtrend over here around 170. I didn't really manage to get into 170. And uh, we came over and I looked at the weekly. Actually, if we look at the, uh, if we go to Finviz, 
binviz.com. We actually look at, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get post a nice, uh, post a nice uh, screen, post a nice um, daily of it. So if I look at the daily, I'm looking at the weekly over here. Uh, weekly over here, we got 188 cover, short resistance, and we have some 263. So you can see that on the monthly chart, we hit that resistance of 250, 263. Uh, 263 was that monthly resistance. And um, I actually, actually, I ended up selling most of my shares. I bought it once, you know, we had the nice push, come back down. And I, th I thought that if we break this, you know, this $2, which was a round number, we're going to speed up to go higher. And sure enough, we push, we come back down, we make a, you know, a, a lower, a higher low. And then this is kind of exactly what I saw over here. This is, this, this gave me the idea to go, to go along. Uh, when I saw something like this, you know, right here was a was a lower low right about there, was a higher low, a low, um, a high, a lower, a higher high. So you're going to so have a lot high, uh, a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and then a higher high, and then a breakout. So I ended up just taking it out at 240 it was probably my best trade so far. $2 to 240 exit. I got 236 out. It was around uh, Claro, $2 and out at 236. Made around 40 cents a share. Actually, I should have sold it at 240 on the dot and stopped selling before I reached the round numbers. I always have that, that uh, you know, I always sell like right here instead of really waiting till it hits 240 or 245. You know, I really get out of this position, got out of this position way too soon because it did really, I mean, it hit like, 250 245 at least so i you know i missed out another five ten cents of profit and then i pretty much booked the book the book the profit and i ran I, tra I traded two tickers it was very basic uh i had the right idea you know i was just um i was just um you know i was disciplined most of my trades uh and uh you know i i stuck to my guns i stuck to my stock losses I didn't really trade like after 10:30. I didn't trade before seven o'clock, or you know, my time bank in which I trade is seven o'clock and like and like 10:30. So I didn't really trade like you know after 10:30, and I traded the ones that moved that was really important to me, and I didn't really trade at all actually before eight o'clock. So you know, it was a great day overall. Um, I, I understood it was a long bias, you know, two stocks. We had long bias traders. We had a couple of other ones that moved midday on NCNA. I didn't really trade this one. This was actually in after hours. Oh, my God. NCNA. Did you see this one? I didn't even see this one. NCNA after hours. Wow. I always miss something like this when it goes from, I don't know what is granted. U.S. patent. So so this that's that's a great news. U.S. patent. Of 55 to like a dollar, unbelievable. And see, and Claro, where you see that H N R A, I, I didn't see any of this. This was midday, so I did trade the today's uh, top movers. We also have M I N M on the freak on the on the daily, just breaking out towards the nine. So I'm sure we're gonna have lots of activity here to uh, trade tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's kind of like. Uh, how everything got settled today. I try to trade between 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock till about 10.30 and then pretty much uh, rest day. Uh, so, you know, I'm very happy with my performance and uh, maybe I should have sold more Claro at around uh, maybe 3... RGLS. Maybe I should have sold more at $3. But overall, it was a good profitable day and uh, moving on to another day. Peace out. Make sure you join me in my private Discord. This is the review for... I think today is um, March 12, 2024, so I'm just getting it out of the way and doing the recap.